Do you know aluminium air battery? The electric vehicle is becoming a trend because of various kinds of factors. Do you know aluminium air battery can replace traditional lithium ion battery and make the electric vehicle run for a much longer distance than before? Are you wondering the current situation and future market of aluminum air battery? Let us solve these problems together. Aluminium air battery is one of metal air batteries, there are zinc air battery, lithium air battery, and magnesium air battery as well. These metal air batteries are devices that use metal as a fuel to convert chemical energy directly into electrical energy. Take aluminium air battery for example, aluminum working as the negative electrode loses electrons, oxygen in the air as the positive electrode gets electrons, and lie where this chemical reaction takes place is the conductive medium. The chemical energy is converted into electricity through the wire and drives the load. Usually batteries are quite heavy, this characteristic prevents batteries from being source of energy in many different appliances and applications where being lightweight is crucial. However, aluminium air battery overcomes this issue. As it uses air as cathode thus reduces its weight. The energy produced by aluminium air battery per unit is also astonishingly higher compared to other conventional batteries. And various parts of aluminium air battery structures are also available to be designed, it can be primary or secondary batteries, the metal anodes can be plate, wedge or paste, an electrolyte can be recycled or non-circulated, the battery can be used as either an electric vehicle power battery or a post-activation backup power supply. Aluminium air battery produces electricity from the reaction of oxygen in the air with aluminium. It has many advantages. Firstly, it has one of the highest energy densities of all batteries. Zinc air battery specific energy theoretical value is 1350 watt hour per kilogram. In fact, now actually used energy has reached 230 watt hour per kilogram, almost eight times the same volume of lead acid batteries. And the theoretical energy density of aluminum air batteries is 8,100 watt-hour per kilogram. The actually used energy density of this battery is more than 350 watt-hour per kilogram. It can be seen that the space for the development of zinc and aluminum air batteries is impressively tremendous. As a contrast, the energy density of lithium-ion battery and lead-acid batteries with the same volume is these metal air battery one-third to one-fifth. Although the lead acid battery is now very mature technology, but the energy density is small, generally 40 watt hour per kilogram, its working life is relatively short, 1 to 2 years of life. The energy density of lithium ion batteries has been improved, 130 to 150 watt hour per kilogram, about 200 running recycles. Take a thought, if aluminum air batteries are used in small vehicles, they would be the only electric vehicle batteries that can be compared with fuel vehicles in terms of range. Thus, an electric vehicle with aluminium air batteries has the potential for up to eight times the range of a lithium-ion battery with a significantly lower total weight. And now it has the real story, on June 2014, Alcoa Incorporated and Finergy debuted a zero-emissions electric demo car powered by a revolutionary aluminum air battery at the Circuit Gillis-Villeneuve in Montreal. It has demonstrated to the public that it exists such a super battery technology with an extended range. The new car went through 19 hours of continuous driving from Toronto to Halifax, 1,800 kilometers away, and did not stop to recharge at all. According to Finergy, just one of the 50 aluminum plates in the battery can power a car for approximately 20 miles, and when used to supplement a lithium-ion battery, can extend vehicle range by approximately 1,600 kilometers, nearly equals to 1,000 miles. This technology allows an energy density that surpasses conventional battery technologies and creates electric vehicles with travel distances, purchase prices, and life cycle costs that are comparable to fossil fuel cars. Currently, the biggest obstacle to the popularity of electric vehicles powered by lithium-ion batteries is their limited range, which currently ranges from 135 kilometers to 770 kilometers, Mercedes-Benz EQS.
making them unsuitable for long-distance travel unless a large number of fast charging stations are installed. But Alcoa and Finergy showed us 100 kg aluminum air battery is able to store enough power to drive 3,000 km. By comparison, the Tesla Model S has a battery of more than 500 kg and a driving range of less than 500 km. According to Alcoa, cars adopting this type of battery still need to retain the lithium-ion battery. The aluminum air battery only starts working after the lithium-ion battery is depleted, so it can be used for a long time, during which it only needs to be refilled with fresh water every month. Usually, after reaching the limit of use in about a year, a fully charged aluminum battery should be replaced at a service station. Also, Tesla Motors latest leaks a patent that shows a major breakthrough in the field of automotive batteries. According to reports, the patent describes the battery pack consisting of lithium-ion and metal-air batteries, only needs one charge, which is able to allow the car to travel a distance of 400 miles, about 650 kilometers. In China, there are also related developments, and the car has successfully gone through the strict test and finished the road trip. As we all know, the biggest bottleneck in the development of electric cars comes from battery technology, because electric cars generally have fatal shortcomings such as long charging time and short driving distance. With these fatal shortcomings are being overcome by such aluminium air battery technology, the future of new energy vehicle will be promising. Thirdly, because the aluminum is widely distributed on the earth, it is the most abundant metal element on earth, the global industrial reserves of aluminum exceed 22 billion tons at the end of 2002 and can be easily increased to 75 billion tons by expanding the scope of mineral search, which can effortlessly meet the demand for electric vehicle power batteries for the automotive industry. Thus, aluminium has a quite low cost, once the aluminum air battery comes to mass production, the price for it would be quite competitive. And also its power system price advantage is obvious, because this power system can be used repeatedly, the initial installation cost of the power system is less than 1 Chinese yuan per watt hour, nearly equals to 0.15 United States dollar per watt hour. Fourthly, the aluminium air battery is environment friendly. No matter during its working or after its functioning, it produces no poison, no harmful gas, no pollution to the environment. Aluminium hydroxide, which is the end product of the whole electricity generating process, is able to turn into aluminium oxide through firing, and aluminium oxide also can be fabricated into aluminium by the means of electrolysis. In conclusion, the whole process is green and recyclable. During the last few decades, the petroleum-based transportation infrastructure always haunts the fear of peak oil, which leads to constant interest in an electric transportation infrastructure. And EVs differ from fossil fuel-powered vehicles, the electricity they consume can be generated from a wide range of sources, including fossil fuels, nuclear power, and renewable sources such as tidal power, solar power, hydropower, and wind power or any combination of those. The carbon footprint and other emissions of electric vehicles depends on the fuel and technology used for electricity generation. From this perspective, aluminium air battery is authentically zero pollution emission. Fifthly, the aluminium air battery is highly reliable, it is absolutely safe, eliminating the hidden danger of fire and explosion which often occurs in the cases of lithium-ion batteries, its battery thermal management system is quite simple because it works in a liquid condition, thus its heat can be transferred easily by changing the liquid, this is quite different from lithium batteries. Thus aluminium air battery is considered as the most promising EV battery challenger. Aside from functioning as electric vehicle battery, aluminium air battery also has other applications. Alcoa, Finergy and the VOD together designed an electric boat that was unveiled on Lake Neuchatel in Switzerland. The boat adopts an aluminum air battery containing 15 kg aluminium as the power source of the boat, its sailing time is increased by 20 hours and without any emission. It is said that without the aluminum air battery to help expand the range, the boat would only be able to sail for 5 hours. And a new type of battery which uses aluminum, air and seawater as raw materials, 
can also be called marine battery, has revolutionized the battery market in marine. Marine battery is a battery with aluminum alloy as the negative pole and metal net, point, fe, as the positive pole, using inexhaustible seawater as the electrolyte solution, which relies on the dissolved oxygen in seawater to react with aluminum to generate electricity. As we know, seawater contains only 0.5% dissolved oxygen, and in order to obtain this part of oxygen, scientists make the positive pole into a net-like structure imitating fish gills to increase the surface area to better absorb the dissolved oxygen in seawater. These oxygen reacts with aluminum under the action of seawater electrolyte to produce electricity continuously. Different from traditional batteries, marine battery has the characteristics of pollution-free, long-lasting, stable and reliable. In China, Trumani cooperates with Algra has released various applications which adopts aluminium air battery, such as salt water bag, 2W-10W portable battery, emergency LED flashlight, battery stack whose voltage can be customized and so on. As a pioneer in this aluminium air battery technology, Trumani is capable to provide you with best and suitable power solutions.